There are about 600,000 people living in Baltimore City. Many of us live very close to each other in row houses, duplexes, and apartment complexes. This makes it easy for pests to pass from one home to the next. The pest problem is everyone's problem. Pests, such as cockroaches and mice, can make you sick by triggering asthma attacks and transmitting diseases. In addition, these pests can destroy property, cause fires by damaging electrical equipment, and reduce everyone's quality of life. To get rid of pests, people often use pesticides in dangerous and ineffective ways. Aerosol sprays and insect bombs and foggers trigger asthma and other respiratory conditions. Additionally, they are associated with cancer and can be particularly harmful to pregnant mothers and children. There is a healthy, effective, and inexpensive way to prevent pests from being in your home and to eliminate those already there. Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, gets rid of mice and cockroaches by eliminating the four things that pests need to live in your home. A way in, food, water, and a place to hide. Many solutions highlighted in this video can be done by you at home. For additional assistance and tips, contact the Baltimore City Health Department Healthy Homes Division. Asthma is a major concern for families in Baltimore. Integrated pest management helps to prevent asthma attacks by eliminating cockroaches and mice the healthy way without the use of toxic sprays or foggers. Asthma is a very serious public health issue. There are millions of children across the country who have asthma. Here in Maryland, especially in Baltimore City, we see rates that are much higher than the national average. In some areas of the city, as many as 20% of children are affected by asthma. This results in missed school days, emergency room visits, hospitalizations, and just overall decline in quality of life for the children. My advice to families would be to learn your child. Honestly, learn what triggers uh, asthma. The things that you honestly don't think it is, it probably is that. So evaluate your home and... Um, there are several things or triggers that can lead to an asthma attack. One of them is allergies. Many of our children with asthma have allergies as well. And many of these allergens can be found in the home. Things that classify as allergens would be pets, such as cats and dogs, pests, for example, mice and roaches, um, another thing that can be found in the home that can irritate the lungs of a child with asthma are um, pesticides, chemicals, any type of spray that can irritate the lungs when the child breathes it in. There are many pest control products available to consumers and they are not all the same. There are some that we do recommend and some that we do not recommend at all. Um, this is pelletized mouse poison, and we can understand pretty quickly why we don't want to be using this in our homes. It's an open product. It becomes, as we say in the field, uncontrolled pretty quickly. Every year there are um, about 3,600 children that are exposed to this rat poison because what happens is they get into these loose pellets and in that loose pellets, they think it's candy or whatever, and they eat it. These blocks are meant to be in tamper-proof bait stations where they can be used safely. They should never be on the floor around where anyone can pick them up, especially children, because this can go easily. This even looks like a toy. You don't want to buy a spray, because if you buy a spray, it's going to be a repellent that's going to chase the cockroaches away. 
You may have the short-term satisfaction of killing the slow, dumb adult cockroaches, but you're not going to get the next generation. And they grow fast, so the next generation will be back in a few weeks. The other one is foggers. A lot of people grab the foggers because you do get dead bodies with that. The problem with foggers is it's a repellent. It does not work. So first we want to look places like this, cracks like this, roaches love to hide. And so when you have a situation like this, you want a, a simple caulk. Okay, this is caulking, caulk gun. You can buy it at your local hardware store. And just, you cut the tip. It don't, you, don't need, you don't need to cut it too wide, just enough to have a nice size bead to close up the area. So you just want to put fine bead. This crack here, anything a quarter inch or bigger, a mouse can get in. So we're gonna, this is a, as a like preventative measure. You could take some steel wool and just kind of stuff it. Once you want to use gloves. Uh, we're looking for entry points. This is a prime example of an entry point. If you can see daylight, you can see that along the door, anything a quarter inch or larger, a mouse can get in. If you can actually slide your pen through there, any of the cracks, a mouse can get in. So we definitely want to get some door sweeps on these areas. You have dishes, okay, sometimes we don't get to the dishes right away, but we want to get to them as soon as possible. And things like you have food and things in the, in the sink, mice, that's food for mice and roaches. And you come into areas like this, that you have trash out open, you want to have this in a sealed container. This is just food for rats and mice. When a lot of people mopping, they're mopping and they're just slinging a mop and all the debris is going and on to the parameter of the areas. And <clears throat> it's making all the food and things you know, like get stuck in the parameters. So <clears throat> that's where the mice and things will feed. You want to go along your parameter and make sure that you're getting everything. Leaky pipes and other sources of water attract mice and roaches. It's important to look in your kitchen, bathroom, laundry, and basement for signs of water, where a pipe or faucet needs to be fixed. Uh, things like this. You want to keep things off the floor, because mice would like to hide and breed in areas like this. And under, things like this is comfortable for them to live and breed. So we want to bring that, elevate that off the floor. Um, coming further up, we have cat food, things like that. That's food for the mice. It's fine to have it in there. It's good that it's high, but we want to put it in a rodent-proof container, like a plastic container. You can get it from your local store, Walmart, and Target, things like that. This is the better, safer alternative for roach control as opposed to the sprays and the other products that are on the market. This is a bait station. There is a pesticide product in the center of it. This is, and there are openings in the side, and roaches crawl inside. It, it will kill them, but it won't kill them right away inside this product. The cool thing about these is that the roach that consumes this goes back to its nest and it will kill those roaches as well. This is a gel formulation of the same product that's in the center of this. It's the same product in the same concentration. It works the same way. And what you would do is you would place it 
like underneath of your baseboards, put a like just a pea size amount, a little dab, that's it. And you'll have a little teeny bit there, just right. a little bit. Not a lot of it, just a little bit. It only takes a little bit. For mice, a snap trap's gonna work wonderfully. Mice run along the wall. They don't run across the middle of the floor. They run along the wall. So we're putting the business end of this mechanical trap toward the wall. A safer alternative and, a, and an alternative that can be used over and over again are these plastic spring-loaded mousetraps. Operates the same way. It's, it's still spring-loaded, still setting some bait in the middle of it. This one I can use safely. Asthma is a major health concern for families in Baltimore. It affects nearly one of every four children in our city. Asthma causes us to miss school and work and keeps us from being active and productive. But it doesn't have to. You can learn how to control your asthma by knowing your asthma triggers, talking to your health care provider, and taking your medicine as prescribed. Integrated pest management helps to prevent asthma attacks. Integrated pest management is safe pest management that eliminates cockroaches and mice in safe, healthy ways without the use of toxic bombs, sprays, or foggers and greatly reduces the use of harmful chemicals in our homes. For answers to your questions on asthma and integrated pest management, please contact the Baltimore City Health Department's Healthy Homes Bureau at 443-984-2468. My problem was pests, basically, and not having um, knowledge about how to get rid of them. But Healthy Home stepped in and made everything all right. I don't like, they're lifesavers. I mean, like, lifesavers on wheels. <laughs> they can actually come into your home if you invite them in. You know, they can come into your home, give you education. I would just encourage everyone to get in touch with Healthy Homes. Get in touch with your local health department. Healthy homes is it. <laughs>